Hi, my name's Zach, but everyone just calls me Ranger Zach. This is my wife, Corey. She runs the camera. We have a daughter. Make that two daughters. And this is my dog, Dose. I also play a pretty mean guitar. For the last 10 years, I've been a real life park ranger, protecting wildlife, fighting forest fires, rescuing lost hikers, and doing all sorts of cool stuff along the way. Now I'm here to teach you everything that you need to know to be a real life park ranger too. Ever wanna know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. To get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show. Welcome back to the Ranger Zach Show, everybody. Today things are gonna be just a little different. This is because Dose, the rescue ranger dog, is due for her annual checkup and I'm taking her to see a very good friend of mine, Nurse Jenny, the wildlife fixer-upper. <laughs> Nurse Jenny works at the Serrano Animal and Bird Hospital where they not only treat people's pets, but also injured wildlife. And she called me earlier and invited me to check out some really special patients that she's caring for at the hospital today. And I think you can come too. So I'm gonna go get Dose all ready and I'll meet you there. Hi, Nurse Jenny. Hi, Ranger Zach. How are we doing today? I'm doing great. Wonderful. And how's Dose? She's doing really good. Awesome. You got some time today to have me show you those cool critters I told you about? I do. Is it okay if I bring my Junior Rangers with me? Absolutely. All right, so let me take Dose, and I will meet you in the exam room, and I'll bring in some of those animals, okay? Sounds good. All right, I'll see you in there. Okay, Junior Rangers, I am so excited because Nurse Jenny, the wildlife fixer-upper, has some really cool animals that she's gonna show us today. I think she's almost here. I can't wait. All right, here's the first one. Oh, wow. So this is a peregrine falcon. Her name is Asteria. She's beautiful. And peregrine falcons actually hold the record for being the fastest animal on the planet. How fast can they fly? Over 250 miles per hour is the new record. <laughs> 250 miles per hour? Wow, that makes her like the fighter jet of the bird world, huh? Yeah, and actually, funny you say that, uh, fighter jets were actually modeled after falcons and hawks. Wow, how cool. Yeah. Nurse Jenny, I see something that she only has one eye. Yeah, that's actually why she was uh, brought into us. She was a falconer's bird, and uh, while she was out hunting, she got injured. And we're not sure exactly how she was injured, but the people who owned her couldn't take care of her. So what they did is they donated her to us and the Orange County Bird of Prey Center, which is an education and rehab facility. And so what we're doing is we're slowly training her to become an education bird so that she can go to different schools and programs to show people up close what falcons look like in real life. Wow, so she's going to school to be a teacher. Pretty much, yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Can I touch her? You can't touch her because she'll touch you back, but you can hold her if you like. I have another glove. I would love that. All right, so here you go. She's very easy to hold. Okay. So you're gonna hold right here and just make a fist. Here we go. That's all there is to it. Wow, Junior Rangers, this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. I'm holding the fighter jet of the bird <laughs> world. A peregrine falcon. This is so cool. What would happen if I wasn't wearing this big fancy glove? 
you would get lots of boo-boos. <laughs> you would have to have lots of band-aids. Those talons are very sharp. So her feet are called talons? Yes, yeah, so that's what she uses to hunt with. So tigers have their fangs and their claws when they go out hunting. Falcons use their talons when they go and they catch their food, which are usually other birds. Wow. Did you hear that, Junior Rangers? Let's use our observation skills, hawk eyes, to look at these sharp talons. All right, so I'll take her back and I'll go bring out another one of our critters, okay? Okay, I'm gonna hand her back. Okay, here we go. Here we go, she's got something new. All right, so this is a great horned owl. These are actually my favorite species of bird of prey. Wow, so this is an owl, mm -hmm. and it's called a great horned owl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're called that because they have these fake little horns on the top of their head, they're actually feathers. So when I was little, I used to think that they were ears because they almost look like cat ears, but they're actually just feathers, that's all they are. Their ears are on the side of their head just like ours are. Oh wow, yeah. Nurse Jenny, can you tell me about these big, beautiful yellow eyes? I certainly can. I can tell you a bit more if you don't mind holding him for me though. Ooh, okay, what should I do? So you're gonna wear these bigger gloves. Okay. Oh, I feel like Iron Man. Yeah, pretty much. These are special big gloves for these guys. So, hold him just like that, and you're just going to put him... Yep, perfect, just like that. So his eyes are actually so big that they touch almost in the center of his skull. The, his eyeballs are separated by a piece of bone that's actually about as thick as a sheet of paper. Wow, that's pretty thin, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very thin. And his eyeballs are so big that there's just enough muscle to hold them into his skull so they don't fall out. And uh, he can't move his eyeballs like we can. Does he have good vision? Very good vision. They have very strong vision. Uh, they can see in the dark. Wow. They can see in the light, obviously, very, very well. And um, they have some of the strongest vision out of any animal on the planet. Wow, so that's why his eyes are so big, to help him see at night? Mm-hmm. Are you ready for your Nurse Jenny fun fact? Here we go. A great horned owl's eyes are actually so big that if you look in their ear, you can see the backside of their eyeball. And if I actually stick my finger in their ear, I would actually poke him in the back of the eye. So it's got a little root. I'm not going to do it. And this has been your Nurse Jenny fun fact for the day. Nurse Jenny, can you tell the Junior Rangers about these sharp talons? These feet are actually even stronger than the falcon that we were looking at earlier. The strength of a great horned owl's feet are about 500 pounds per square inch of pressure, which is about eight times stronger than the grip of the human hand. So as tight as you can grip your hand, he can do it eight times stronger than yours. Oh, that is hard. It is very hard. So he's very, very, very strong. I don't want to shake his hand. No, no, you don't want tickles from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually have unique shaped feet. So see how he's got two toes that point forward and two toes that point backwards? That actually is very unique amongst owls. It's called zygodactyl. 
So that's what the term is, and it only exists on birds of prey. Zygodactyl, 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 zygodactyl. <laughs> that is fun to say. Yeah. Now, Shenny, he's starting to look a little sleepy. Yeah, it is daytime, so I'm sure he probably wants to go back to bed. <laughs> I'll go put him away, and I've got one more cool friend to bring out. Oh, I can't wait. Cool. All right, All right I'll be right back. Bye. I think I know what this is. All this right. This is called a kestrel, right? Yes. Yes, it is. This is the smallest species of falcon we have in North America. <laughs> So just like the big peregrine that we had out earlier, this is the same kind of bird, except it's just a different species. Wow. Yeah, so it's also a very fast one. Okay, Nurse Jen, I've heard you talk about the Orange County Bird of Prey Center a couple times. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what that means? Certainly. So the Orange County Bird of Prey Center is a non-profit organization that takes in injured birds of prey, so hawks, owls, eagles, and falcons that get hurt out in the wild. And what we do is we work really hard to get them better, get them strong, and then we release them back out into the wild. That is our number one goal. We want them to be free. That's where they belong. This one looks pretty calm. Do you think I could hold this one too? Absolutely. She's all got her leash up and she's ready to go. This one's the last one. Yep. Wow. Yeah. She's very light. Yeah, very small. So you say she's like, birds actually have hollow bones. So dogs and cats have bones that are thick like ours. Birds all have bones that are hollow. They have to be light in order to fly. If they have thick, heavy bones, they're not going to be able to get off the ground very easily. And also, if you look at their face, it kind of looks like they've got little black tears going down on their face. Mm -hmm. Those are often referred to as speed stripes. You see them on like really fast sports cars and stuff. Yeah. The speed stripes, what those do is the black stripes underneath her eyes help keep the sun out of her uh, eyes. It reflects the sun back away so that she doesn't get blinded. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed checking out some of these cool new I animals. I really guys. did. This was a dream come true. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, I've got one more patient ahead of you guys. Do you want to see what it is? Because it's still a pretty cool animal. Is it a mystery? Yes. I love mysteries. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let me go put uh, this little guy away, or excuse me, little girl away. Um, and then I'll come get you and we'll go work on uh, that last patient. Okay, All sounds right. good. Great. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Not a lot to tell. Well, Junior Rangers, we're just waiting for Nurse Jenny, the wildlife fixer-upper, to bring in her mystery patient. I think it's behind me. Wow! <laughs> So everyone should know what this is, right? This is a bald eagle. This is a bald eagle. His name is Billy Idol. Hi, Billy Idol. You have a lot to say today. He does. He likes to talk a lot. When Nurse Jenny brought out Billy Idol, the bald eagle, I just couldn't believe my eyes. She told me all about how she and the veterinarians at the hospital care for these beautiful animals. And then she even let me help with his annual checkup. First, we put this little hood on him to make him feel a little bit more comfortable. Then we listen to his heart and his lungs. And then we put him on a scale. Last, it was time for a little bit of exercise, and I think he liked it. Dose wasn't too sure about her new friend, though. Once Billy Idol was finished, it was Dose's turn. Nurse Jenny listened to her heart and checked her joints. Hey Dose, say ah. Hey, is that where my boot went? And of course, finish with a shake. Nurse Jenny is so good with animals, she really made Dose feel relaxed. Soon, it was time to say goodbye to 
Nurse Jenny and all our new friends, and we headed back to the ranger station. Hi, Junior Rangers. Welcome back to the ranger station. I want to thank you for keeping Dose the rescue ranger dog company during her checkup. Pearl, you're next. If you want to learn more about Nurse Jenny or any of the animals that you saw today, check out the Orange County Bird of Prey Center online at ocbpc.org. You can also find the Orange County Bird of Prey Center on Facebook and Instagram. Now let's do the Ranger Roundup. Today's question comes from Connor who lives in Washington. Hi Ranger Zach, how does bears hibernate? Really cool question, Connor. But first, a joke. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> Bears don't technically hibernate. Instead, they practice a behavior called torpor, which is similar to hibernation, but they're not asleep the whole time. Their heart rate, breathing, and temperature all drop and they don't need to eat or drink anything at all. Instead, they live off the fat and protein stored in their bodies from eating all year long. I hope that answers your question. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to get outside and check out all the birds that live near your neighborhood. Make sure to tag me in a picture of your adventure at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. And make sure you tell all your friends who want to be Junior Rangers too all about the Ranger Zach Show. And please subscribe to our channel. Just remember until next time, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach and Pearl, over and out.